What's good lovely people and welcome to my channel. My name is Bram, case your first time seeing me here. Welcome. So today I wanted to share with you items that you can easily declutter for, from your house for you to have a clutter free home. I'll admit that my guilty pleasure is watching this TV show called Hoarders and Obsessive Compulsive Cleaners and it just shines light on how people are just holding on to stuff that is no longer adding value or meaning to their life. So I wanted to share with you these tips so that you can declutter your home and you can have a clutter free house. So I've been doing it for my mobile phone so that I don't forget any of these tips. Number one, one of the things that you need to get off are old newspapers and magazines. They're called newspapers for a reason because every single day there's a new particular piece of information that is being relayed and that of information from three years prior or ten years prior becomes obsolete and you therefore need to let it go. This uh, You can trade in these newspapers for some cash in Nairobi or Kenya. Uh, there are these people who buy newspapers like supermarkets, butcheries, and garages. They buy these newspapers, pack AG, and you can be able to, uh, to make some extra money during this time that people need to make some extra coins. So you'll be also getting rid of clutter while also adding some money to your pocket. Number two are old pillows, particularly those pillows which you've slept on for so long, or those pillows around the living room that people have touched and they have just a lot of accumulation of dirt and grime and they change color you need to get rid of them you can just burn them so that you just when you sleep you, you people sweat into their pillows you breathe into your uh, it's just a lot of uh, bad smell so you need to get rid of old pillows or old couch pillows and the other thing that you need to get rid of are old CDs prior to people streaming movies People used to buy CDs. I'm guilty of this and I used to buy CDs to watch movies and recently I stopped that and I no longer buy CDs. I just prefer to stream them from my phone so that I don't have accumulation of clutter around my house of CDs because these CDs um, have a tendency to have scratches and once they have, they have scratches it's very difficult for you to watch these movies because every single time you're trying to watch a scene it stops, stops so it also becomes a nuisance and you therefore not enjoy your movies so you need to throw them away because uh, technology is changing and times are changing the other thing that you need to declutter or get rid of are broken down electronic items like chargers broken down kettles chargers that no longer work let's admit it we are, we are not electricians you cannot fix a broken charger you, if it's it blows off you need to get rid of it and get yourself another and also earphones that do not work. Uh, people have a tendency to hold on to these earphones. Those earphones that work on one side, I just can't. I can't deal with that. So earphones that don't work on one side, I get rid of them and just get myself another pair. Out with the old, in with the new. And for girls, expired makeup or broken up makeup, uh, like foundation, those broken pieces of makeup that are just or expired lipstick, uh, may be very detrimental to your health. So. There's no need for you to hold on to expired medication or expired beauty products. You need to check for the expiration date on these products so that you don't um, put stuff on your skin that is expired and it's doing more harm than good. Other item that you can declutter are old perfume bottles, uh, bottles that are just lying around. You, you, not unless it's like a very expensive perfume bottle that you bought for, like, let's say, like ten thousand Kenyan shillings. You can can maybe preserve one of them for just aesthetic purposes because you have some of those perfume bottles that look really good and uh, they're aesthetically pleasing for you to have around uh, like a decoration piece you can hold on to like maybe one or two but there's no need for you to have like 50 perfume bottles or 50 spray bottles in your in your in your maybe nightstand or on your in your bathroom you need to get rid of them the other thing that you clothes or clothes that you haven't worn for the past maybe three or six months or even a year uh, people have a tendency to just hold on to clothes that they're no longer wearing or those aspirational clothes they're saying when i lose this weight i'm going to fit in into these jeans uh, work on achieving your goals so that you can maybe fit into those clothes but at the meantime there's no need for you to just have a massive hold of clothes uh, i discovered that cheap is expensive and i want to just have more quality minimal pieces those statement pieces that i can maybe switch up my wardrobe with i can maybe wear this today and tomorrow i'm wearing some the same item mixed up with like a different maybe let's say it's a leather jacket or a denim jacket i can switch the trousers up or the t-shirts or the shirts and they look really cool so i'm also working on that and i'll also be decluttering my wardrobe or the clothes that i have to have those minimal statement pieces that i 
uh, go through pieces those pieces that stand out so stay tuned for that and the other thing that you need to throw away are all toothbrushes i recommend changing your toothbrushes every three months uh, when you use very old toothbrushes, you have a ten tendency to develop gingivitis or those oral mouth thrushes and it's not cute. So you need to get rid of old toothbrushes and throw them away. Uh, new toothbrushes will make your teeth whiter and you'll prevent mouth infections. And the other things that people tend to hold, particularly in Kenyan households, are those boxes or textbooks that you studied with in high school you already got your KCAC or KCP certificate. There's no need for you to hold on to those books and you will not go to go and refer to your KCPE books, uh, your primary school books once you're maybe in high school. So you need to get rid of that stage of your life. And those old boxes that your parents like to hold on to, you need to get rid of them because they're just accumulating dust maybe in the store. And you can treat them to those people who buy scrap metal and they can be able to just refurbish these boxes and sell them at a, and sell them to maybe those people who are joining high school in form or form one in the coming years. So those old boxes or those exercise books from your primary school years or your secondary school years, you need to get rid of them. And the other people the thing other things that people tend to hold to hoard a lot are socks with holes or socks that have are mismatched and I don't get the point of this because you can't wear out a mismatched pair of socks and once your trouser lifts and people see you are wearing mismatched socks they'll begin to judge you like a certain type of way so I, I just recommend you to have um, socks that are functional don't hold on to socks that are torn and what is the other thing you need to get rid of and um, res um, old receipts or old expired warranty cards particularly if an item's warranty has already expired there's no need for you to have those massive paperwork and just they're just accumulating space for other important documents the warranty has expired you'll not be able to use that warranty not unless if, if it's for a tv or let's say those uh things that you've spent a lot of money on like maybe say a, t a tv that costs like 100k you can maybe hold on to that but those things like uh, electric kettles those warranties that expire after a year or mobile phones who have for whose warranties have expired you need to get rid of them which brings me to the other thing that most parents are guilty of hoarding are toys um a child cannot have a hundred favorite toys that's nearly impossible you'll find this child gravitating mostly towards like five toys that they like and the rest are just there, just accumulating space, accumulating dust, and they're causing a lot of inconvenience because these kids tend to just throw them all on the floor at once and play and not play with all of them. And it also gives you like an extra to just pick up the to clean up after after their mess. So you can donate this to their cousins, you can donate these toys to other children that will enjoy these toys instead of them just having a hundred favorite toys it's nearly impossible to have a hundred toys i believe it's impossible a child cannot love a hundred toys it's not possible you can also throw away our worn out shoes or shoes that are they're beyond repair and you no longer wear them you avoid grow them you, they, when you wear them they become li a little bit uncomfortable or you have a reason why when you wear these shoes maybe you feel a certain type of way or those uh, crocs those slippers that are just accumulating excessive space in your in your shoe rack you need to get rid of them you need to burn those uh, slippers that do not have a partner those slippers that is um, mekatika you need to throw them away get rid of them in your house for you to have a clutter free home and a home that is just um, inviting well, when you have a clutter-free house, your focus will be improved and be able to concentrate more on your daily tasks. So I think that is pretty much uh, some of the things that I've mentioned that you need to get rid of. Um, oh, I've forgotten. Uh, you also need to buy the cards from like 10 years ago. Those are maybe sentimental items. And that's a category of items that you can throw away. Um, 
uh, every year you'll be receiving like a new birthday card so there's no need for you to hold on to those birthday cards or those christmas cards from 20 years uh, ago you need to throw them away because they're no longer helpful uh, the memories will not go away the memories will be locked inside your head so there's no need for you to just hold on to them for them to just um, accumulate um, space for other things and also I forgot to mention paperwork paperwork that is no longer useful you can shred them away and uh, not unless they are certificates or documents uh, that are important like contracts uh, other people's pieces of paperwork they're just useless for you you just need to get rid of them for you to have um, clutter-free drawer and also people have a tendency to take to hoard uh, pens or pencil or markers that have dried out ink this is not helpful they're just um, occupying space for more functional stationery mm -hmm. I've mentioned most of the things that you need to declutter for you to have a um, clutter-free home every time I keep saying that something else pops up so those plastic things I cringe at plastics I hate plastics uh, those blue band plastics those a lot of them uh, particularly in Kenyan households you have a tendency to just uh, use them keep them you wash them after after using them and they're just not cute they're just accumulating um, space in your kitchen in your pantry and it does not look at all it does not look good at all I I recommend people to get those storage containers those glass storage containers uh, I believe they're more readily available these days you can buy them in town most many people are selling them in town you can buy this um, storage containers those storage jars they look very nice when you put your rice in you put your sugar in when you put your spices in I think they just look better than those plastic tins sorry and uh, storage glass storage jars are the way to go and also utensils like those plastic cups that maybe those your child has nibbled on or people those plastic um, um spoons or utensils that are just not helping you they're just um they're in your in your drawer and they're just not helping you at all you need to throw them away or dispose of them donate them give them away to other people that will be able to make uh, most use of them so i believe i've mentioned most of the things that you can declutter for you to have a clutter free home and if i forgot to mention some of them you can remind me in the comment section so i believe that's pretty much it and stay tuned for me to I'll be giving you like a progress on my journey to minimalism because I want to also uh, get rid of some clothes some shoes so that I have a very zen space around me because I believe this is essential for everyone particularly this time so you can use this time that maybe you have some extra time on your hands to just declutter for you to have a very lovely space so i believe that's it for now so i'll be seeing y'all in my next video so bye for now and don't forget to also subscribe see y'all